talking about like how to maintain your straight hair for up to three weeks. I've had my straight hair for just about, I would say it's been over two weeks. I don't usually wait a month to wash my hair just cause by three weeks I get so much dandruff. Like, as you can see, this is how my hair is looking. If you are interested in just finding out what I use, the routine to maintain my straight hair, please keep on watching. So I know most people will tell you to wrap your hair. You gotta wrap your hair every night. If you don't, your hair will not stay straight and all that. I do not do that. I literally, I wrap my hair the first night or the the first day I straighten my hair but after that I do not wrap my hair at all the reason why I don't wrap my hair is because it just it feels pointless like I'll wrap my hair and then I'll take it out of wrap and I'll end up with bends in my hair and bumps and all that so by the way if you have straight hair like satin scrunchies are your best friend I have these satin scrunchies I have about 60 in here of every single color you can imagine and i always have a satin scrunchie on my arm satin scrunchies are so good for your hair just like a satin bonnet is you know during the day if i'm not really doing anything and if i'm just chilling around the house or if i'm out and about i don't just have my hair down like rubbing on my shirt i will tie my hair up just like so and just like this and then put the satin scrunchie on just like that that is the way i will usually wear my hair throughout the day do anything like just to not have it rubbing on my shirt which causes more break and also at night literally it's the same routine i don't wrap my hair i usually just again grab my satin scrunchie tie up my hair High enough so that you know I could take a shower and it doesn't get wet or anything. Not a not a tight bun, but just a loose bun. Put my scarf on at night. Put my bonnet on at night, and I'm usually good to go. I'll tie my hair up. Put my scarf on. bonnet on and that's it that's all I do like I do not wrap my hair and I find that that works best for me I know everyone's hair is different also when I'm taking a shower to make sure my roots don't get revert too much I do have edge control on it so it has reverted a little bit is by using one of these and I know I had the one with bunny ears. <laughs> Here is going to protect your edges in the shower. This is definitely a must have in the shower when you do not want to wet up your edges, protect your edges when your hair is straight. So once they revert, you don't want to have to flat iron it again or anything like that. So you're being as gentle as you, as gentle as you can with your hair. This is a huge one, but make sure that if you are seeing any single strand knots, I know not everybody has time for this or everybody knows how to look for this, but any, because the good thing about wearing your hair straight is you can see single strand knots. And yes, you can still get single strand knots on straight hair. Strand knots, if you see any split ends, take some scissors, like, always have a good pair of scissors on you see anything on your ends try to cut them off and i usually do this on a weekly basis where i'll just do a search and destroy take my hair and i'll just look for i'll look at my ends and i'll look for anything that looks like a split in and it's kind of hard to show you that on camera so i'm not saying you have to do this i'm just saying that it's what works for me help me maintain healthy hair help me to maintain my length in my hair another thing is i would say your hair starts getting kind of dry especially your ends because your ends are straight so 
If your ends are on a more on the drier side, you just need just a little bit of moisture hate leave-in, but just use a tiny bit. So I like to use the Mayel Organics Rice Water Collection, the moisturizing milk. And I also use the Camille Rose also has their curl milk that um, you can also use on your hair, but you need a dime size amount of product and put it all over your hair and especially mainly focusing on your ends because your ends are dry. And this just helps to add some moisture back into my hair. So I would highly suggest that if your hair is, kind, if you have straight hair, but it's kind of drying out, like mine kind of does, it's just a good refresher for your hair. Another must have when your hair is straight is dry shampoo. You don't have to have this specific brand, but I do have the, the Garnet Fructis Invisible Dry Shampoo. This one's pretty good. It's the Coco Colada one. Dry shampoo when your hair is straight is everything because once your hair starts getting really flat, once your hair starts getting oily over time, you're just going to need because our hair has all those natural oils in it. So we do need to give our hair kind of a pickup. So this stuff, when your hair is oily, um, losing body or anything like that, dry shampoo literally brings it back to life. It's definitely a must keep some dry shampoo on me because it helps me a ton like I do not know what I would do without dry shampoo on my straight hair as black women we go longer without washing your hair when we do wear it straight dry shampoo is really important so yeah major major key <laughs> I kind of mentioned this in my wash day video when I straighten my hair, but just make sure that before you straighten your hair that you are prepping that you are prepping your hair properly. And what I mean by that is make sure that when you shampoo your hair that you are using, you could still use a moisturizing shampoo, but make sure you are using a shampoo that does have sulfates in it so you're getting out all that buildup especially when you're natural and you're putting all these heavy products in your hair you need a shampoo that's going to get out all those ss products so i usually like to use a moisturizing shampoo and i'll go in with a shampoo that is that doesn't have sulfates in it so poo, i have a lot of shampoos but um and you don't have to use this one but i use the shea moisture strength plus hair color shampoo this one's sulfate free so this is my moisturizing shampoo that i go in with but i have plenty of moisturizing shampoos that I go in but sure now this is the cream of nature plex defense shampoo it, this shampoo is still really moisturizing but it does does have sulfates in it so it gets out all that buildup and everything so i highly suggest going in with a good moisturizing shampoo and then going in with a good shampoo that has sulfates in it that's going to get out all that buildup. Also make sure that you are going in with a moisturizing deep conditioner. The Macadamia Natural Oils Deep Conditioner. Time I wash my hair I used a different deep conditioner so literally I have like have a good 10-15 uh, deep conditioners that I have that are go-to's but uh, my go-to with a heating cap so I have I got this one off Amazon I've been using it for over a year now and it's just the plug-in heating cap right here as you can see or you can just put your hair right right in there and here is the plug-in right here and you can set it to medium or you can set it to hot it does get pretty hot so this thing is amazing i use this each time i decondition my hair and i decondition my hair every time i wash my hair and i got off amazon for about 20 dollars 25 dollars if i'm not mistaken make sure your shampoo and get out all that buildup, and then make sure that you are deconditioning putting that moisture back in your hair this is my go-to leave-in shea moisture miracle leave-in treatment I usually find this one at Walmart, but this is just my go-to leave-in. It's super light and it's a dub of the It's a 10 leave-in, like my go-to, my holy grail for my leave-in for when I blow dry my hair and I'm getting ready to straighten it. The Kenra Blowout Spray, Blow Dry Spray. So I just started using this, but I do really like it. Before I was using this one, I was using the Chi Iron Guard 
here and this stuff is what I will usually use to blow dry my hair because it is on the watery side so I try to use it on my after I blow dry my hair but I found that it was a little on a watery side so I it was better it was better to use this um, when my hair was already wet. Also, before I flat iron my hair, I do use the Chi Silk Infusion. So this stuff is amazing. It gets my hair nice and silky, braided. So I really do love this stuff. This stuff is amazing. But yeah, and also make sure that when you are flat ironing your hair that you are using a good flat iron. Using a good flat iron is so important. Using a good blow dryer to get your hair as straight as possible which um, that's why I like to use the Revlon blow dryer brush, but also make sure that you are um, using a good flat iron. Use the New Me flat iron, uh, which I think that one, I got that flat iron about three or four years ago and it's still doing me good. And it was about $150 um, or so. Whatever you use, make sure it's just a good flat iron and it does have ceramic plates or titanium. Ceramic plates are good for people who have finer hair like me. Titanium plates or flat iron are good for people who have thicker hair so it, it gets their hair greater and more silky so but titanium would not be good for me because my hair is finer and it would give me heat damage quicker so you do have to be careful if you're gonna use titanium plates at home make sure that whatever you're doing you are being gentle with your hair that even when your hair is straight it is more fragile and prone to breakage so make sure that the routine you're using is you're gentle on your hair and taking good care of your hair so that's just what i would suggest all right thank you so much for watching this video if you made it to the end of this video thank you so much i do appreciate it i will be making more hair content and i will be washing my hair soon so i'll be coming out with another video with um of me straightening my hair soon so please like comment and subscribe and share if you care i do appreciate it and uh thank you so much for watching again and i hope you have a blessed day